What's good? For today's video, we're gonna get into some Ace Gen Teens bread app. We have some uh, extendos for the rear Lava. that we got in the mail. We got some stuff from the clothing companies where I buy my blank so I can get some orders out. So I'm a you know, showcase that because now my old bedroom, now my current living space is my print shop. So, uh, there's a lot, bro. There's a, there, there's a lot of stuff happening in Percy's life right now, but, uh, you know, we're gonna make it do what it do, and that's all we can do. Also, since it's like the month where, uh, black folks could kind of make people who aren't black feel a little bad, um, I need 60 of y'all to head over to Zashim FG, right? Pick up a key tag trying to get these t37s and like the only way i can make that possible is if like 60 of y'all uh pick up a key tag they 10 bucks two bucks shipping it's not bad thank you so yesterday my order from hpt autosport came in these are my extended wheel studs for the rear i decided to upgrade the rear studs even though i'm not going to run anything aggressive it's just nice to have some arp extendos in the back price that i paid and free shipping it was like under 100 bucks shipped for arp extended studs y'all know they be waxing but for the price i paid hpt thank you brother thank you so to remove the rear studs it's actually really simple Two 12 millimeter or 14 millimeters, remove the caliper um, and the bracket itself. And then once you have that off, you're able to remove this rotor since I don't have no set screws in here, thank God. Once the rotor come off, we just get a hammer, pop them things down like that, bro. And we should be good, bro. We should be good, bro. But before we get into all that, I've actually been working on something with the 8th gen that I should have done a long time ago. Now. When you do the FD2 front conversion, you're supposed to either buy an FD2 crash bar since it's um, shorter and it works with the FD2 stuff, or you cut your OEM 8th gen SI or whatever a USDM 8th gen crash bar support beam. I was working on this yesterday before it got a little too late and I didn't want to piss off the neighbors because now I'm back living in a communion. Y'all ever saw that show, Good Trouble? That's basically what I live in. Not really, but my neighbor is, is like literally right there. So like, if I bang on a wall, they can probably hear me, so yeah. But anywho, uh, this is what I got right here, right here. I didn't even show you guys. Yeah, my front end is basically parted out. Fenders are gone, bumper and lip is gone. I do have my field spinners as you guys saw. If you're new here, what up? My name is Zosh and I got some field spinners. So uh, we're gonna be slapping those on here soon. I did get a package from Zaft Japan. If you live in the States and you have an FD converted Civic, you know who Zaft is, bro. Zaft is the FD2 parts plug goat. He is the goat. Bro really is the goat though. I got my FD2 fender brackets. I can slap my fenders on. Um, the only thing I gotta do is order a front bumper. That's where I need y'all to come in at. <laughs> kidding i'm probably gonna end up running a feels front bumper so i can have like the whole feel i love the feels front bumper to me it looks like need for speed underground too with a, some aggressiveness it just looks really damn good and also gotta get a plug for this right here but shout out to uh kevin over at jack spanier he's gonna be sending me out a whole new unit i'm just gonna take the piece i need and slap that on there so that's all good and dandy i don't know if it'll happen this video but I plan on going to the junkyard and getting a new door because this door is clapped. I done messed up right here. You guys can see this. This is just, this is just terrible. So I was trying to sh uh, remove this right here. So you have that nice gloss black backing right here. But uh, I ended up messing it up beyond repair. So I just gotta get a new door. So, and if I can get a white door and I'm supposed to be getting a white bonnet. So if I have a white door, white bonnet, I'll be pretty much squared away. So that is pretty much what we got cooking up for this video. I don't know what else we'll get into. Uh, I'll probably keep this one short and sweet. I did get a comment. I'll be reading my comments now. Josh be reading them comments and it'd be full of love, man. That's crazy. But uh, some shorter videos, I guess, might suffice too. Like if I make like 10 to 15 minute videos. But I know y'all like the 30, but you know, just to get content out and be more a little bit, a little bit more consistent, I could just like um, film every two days and upload every third day, if that makes sense. So we'll see how much we get done today. And if it's good enough for a video, I'll upload it. Cool? I bet. 
Did y'all hear the news? Did you hear the news? Man, oh man, we outside. We outside. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say, papi? What can I say? It's Josh MFG here, papi. It's Josh MFG here. Your boy is going to import a lion's spring gatherings. Me not going to spring meat, brother. No, but the boy me not going to no spring meat, dog. <laughs> so the homie Don pretty much runs all who is Import Alliance essentially uh, where he then talks about like doing a tour so I don't know it might happen uh, depending on how scheduling goes for me but I, this year I'm trying to get really active bro I'm trying to like see all the homies from all over the world who be showing me look all over the the, you, the lower 48 that be showing me love but um I'm just trying to see all the homies man so I'm gonna be in Georgia baby bring me some hot wings <laughs> from American Deli <laughs> No lemon pepper though. Uh, I'm not Rick Ross. Look who it is. <laughs> Don, my good brother, how you doing? <laughs> I'm good, bro, I'm good. Quick update on my 8th gen flex fuel plug and pay, plug and pay, plug and play kit. We now have a harness made to where now it's completely plug and play. Before it was 90% plug and play, now when you order your converter box, you it'll come with the plug, and then this plug will plug right into the uh, Sasha MFG plug and play flex fuel agent harness kit. So now it's completely plug and play. Figured I'd plug that because a lot of you guys own eighth gens. So if you want to go flex fuel on your eighth gen, I now well I always offered it, but now it's a hundred percent full plug and play. It was plug and play before, but now it's full plug and play. All right, cool. All right, so cooking up with the Integra, actually, I have to replace, hopefully it's just a sensor, but my wideband, whenever my wideband, whenever I turn the car on, my wideband um, just says sense, as if the sensor is bad. I'll show you. Peep game. Whenever the car turns on, it just says sense right away. Like, it doesn't even, like, warm up. It just goes straight to sense from doing some research it could either be the sensor or it could be the gauge itself so i did buy a sensor from amazon when i drop the sensor in and hopefully see if the issue is with the sensor and i can actually test that right now bro i'm such a genius because i i'm gonna show you why i'm a genius actually i'm not gonna show you but i'm gonna test it right now well i can eat my pub sub first then i'm gonna test it public for the win this is my new sensor and since my car is pretty much gutted Essentially, um, I can just pull my harness up through this little glory hole I got and uh, just plug this part in and then see if that sense on the dash actually starts reading the uh, the sensor itself. So I'm gonna do that and we'll see what it do. I ain't even eat my Publix up yet, bro, but I was too, I'm too inspired right now. I have to see if this works. If not, then <laughs> Amazon, you gotta return on the way. <laughs> You guys probably can't see it, but this is the sensor right here. Unplug that like that. Then plug the new one in. And then I'm gonna turn the car on, which I don't know where I put the key. Okay. Plug the sensor in. Let's turn the car on. And see if that was, that fixed the issue. Oh yeah, it fixed it. Nice, it's reading. So it was just a sensor. Nice. Nice. Check how we moving with division in mind. I'm low side with my on division with slime. Been making plays, I'm finna dish him a dime. I feel my pocket vibrating, that's your on the line. Uh, check how I'm living with division in mind. I'm low side with my on division with slime. You tryna hit me, gotta get in the line Better go and get you some bin instead of dipping in mine Look, I hit the avenue, baby, I'm on a mission I peel a scab or two if you play me some pimping I used to talk a lot lately, lady, I listen I'm quick to cut them if they can't play their position We slizzard inside the Chevy, no levy holding a wave Blowing this herbal medley, hit like a bundle of sage Popping my love ism, I did them dirty, I'm petty Moving, you hear me shaking, just hit my line when you ready Straight from that Mississippi, a plate of fish and spaghetti Deep in they feelings, I'm feeling like getting fatty. But out of my mentions, if you ain't mention that money 
thinking they play her. We play it thinking it's funny. Put that in her tummy until she tell me she love me. If it work, I'm a genius. And if it don't, I'm a dummy. Funny that double standard, they never give you the credit. Leaving behind me to focus on where I'm headed. Like, check how we living with the vision in mind. I'm low side with my on division with slime. Been making plays, I'm finna dish them a dime. I feel my pocket vibrating, that's your on the line. Check how I'm living with the vision in mind. I'm low side with my. Alright, it is now time to shift focus onto this 8th gen. We're gonna go ahead and get these rear studs put on today uh, because I think it's time. Don't you guys think it's time? I think it's time we get these steady woodies looking decent. Woo! Please! These things, these things is crusty. Ooh, Lord. But go ahead, remove the rear caliper, and uh, yeah, once we remove the rear caliper and the caliper bracket, and we could remove the blood clot. Rota, buddy. All right, now that we got the rotor out, it is now time to just literally knock these out with a hammer. Easiest install ever. Hammer meets stud. Y'all gonna get to know each other real quick, you know what I mean? You just gonna take her to Pound Town. Pound Town, just love Pound Town. What are you doing? What are you doing? Nothing. From the looks of it, it looks like Pound Town ain't um. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow. Until. So it's like 5 36 o'clock. Neighbors are home. I'm not trying to have no. No, uh, no smoke with any of the neighbors. So, probably gonna have to wait until the morning when they at work for me to do this. HOAs and communities, bro. I should have bought a house in 2008. But no, I wanna be a 12 year old playing on my Nintendo DS. Smackdown vs. Raw 2009. Damn fool. And that is why it is nice having the right tools. Everything can get smash and dashed. You feel me? <laughs> Studs are all out. Uh, we gotta now insert the new ones, but I don't have the tool to um, basically have them cessed in there. Like, so here we have the ARP extendos. Should be simple. All we gotta do is put them in, put the lug nut in, tighten that thing up. Hey, we is Gucci taters, brother. Super simple, easy process. That's and again, I picked these up from HBT Autosport. Uh, they have the best deal on shipping and price. So, yeah, bro. If y'all need that, hit up HBT. That was a wet one. I thought about it. I'm actually gonna reuse these. I just cut that off, but I'm gonna to reuse it because I don't have the heat tape right now to wrap up the e-brake cable. Shout out to the homie Money for, um, well, I, mean, I don't know. I guess we'll see, because I could just buy the heat tape, but if I could just reuse these and, I mean, damn, I mean, I guess it's kind of weight reduction, couple of ounces, but whatever. Um, just hit it with some of this semi-gloss black paint and uh, yeah, just freshen up a little bit, wipe these down with some alcohol and just shoot it with some paint just to clean it up, make it look decent than what it is. We also got a package from Rock Auto. Um, yeah, I'm stoked. New package alert. They show me how to overcome. He was looking for 
for some closure Hoping I can bring them closer to the spiritual My spirit don't know better, but I told them I can't sugarcoat the hassle for you This is how I feel If somebody kill my son, then me somebody getting killed Tell me what you do for love Line your tea and passion up All the memories collected Moments you can never touch I wait in front of niggas Not and watch me in this block I catch a nigga leaving service decided to just paint the top of the rotors while I'm at it so it don't look all rusty and crusty. But that's accounted for. So painted the center piece of the hub on both sides. Also hit the caliper itself, just something, not too crazy, just where you can see it. I don't really care about having all this stuff painted and coated. I, I don't care about that stuff, bro. So I just wanted to hit it, just clean it up a little bit, make it look decent. Right now I'm waiting on Randy to pull up with the uh, correct tool so we can get these wheel studs installed. But I think what I'm gonna start doing now is the process of uh, tearing down my uh, brake system because I am no longer going to be running the Home Development uh, Brake Booster Delete uh, on the 8th gen because it's not efficient. I was basically testing out this kit anyways. I'm using a Honda Fit Master on an 8th gen with TLS Brembo's, which kind of don't make sense. Uh, the pedal feel with my adjustments is just, it's not how it is for the 90s Honda. The Home Development's Brake Booster Delete Kit on my Integra is per literally perfection. But on the 8th gen, it's, it's just, it's a two pack of ass. <laughs> I bought everything from Rock Auto and eBay. I got a brand, brand used, uh, 8th gen Civic, brake booster, and master cylinder, but I'm gonna be replacing the master cylinder with a TLS master cylinder. I also ordered some fittings from Valex Racing or Valex Racing to basically run the the lines to the booster, I lied, the lines to the master, because on my 8th gen, I'm running an M12 by one uh, fitting, and some 8th gens run the M10, but I run the M12, so the fittings I have in my Current setup is not gonna work, so I had to order those. So yeah, we got some stuff happening in this video, bro. We 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 were making something. I also ordered my Castro SRF brake fluid. That should be in tomorrow, but today I'm hoping to get the brake booster on, the new master cylinder on, and that's it. Cause I won't be able to bleed it, and I won't be able to do anything. I won't even be able to attach the lines. So so we got some work to do, baby. But first. It's Randy. Randy dude. It's Randy. I don't want to face the fucking camera. Tonight. Bro, you need to start being more photogenic, bruh. You got to start saying what up to my people, bruh. So I need you to apologize first and foremost before I up the five. I don't want to do that to you, bruh. So say what up to the people. Get the fuck out of my face, bitch. See what I'm saying, bro? You always with the rules. Uh. Bro, you need to stop being so rude, bro. Where my tool at, bitch? Uh. Finito! It is all done. Ooh, that sound crusty. But, uh, yeah, everything's done, painted, it's on. So it ain't too bad. Looks better than what it was before. So, I ain't tripping. Now it's time to push focus towards the front. We gotta unbox our new brake master cylinder from Rock Auto and our brand used, uh, what do we get from Tay? Uh, eighth gen brake booster. We got a brake booster and pretty much brake booster and master cylinder set up for eighth gen SI. Stocky, stocky, but we're not gonna be using the reservoir or the brake master. We're gonna be using the TLS one. Um, so if you do Brembo upgrades on your front uh, brake setup, we do the TLS Brembos. Um, upgrade the master to a TLS as well so you can maximize your actual braking power. You don't have to, obviously, but it's recommended that you do. And that's what we're gonna be doing. I had this set up on my car before, but in case you're new here, what up? So this is my current setup. This is a Home Developments Brake Booster Delete with a Honda Fit Master, which is crazy, bro. Powering these right here, that's crazy. So that's what we got going on. I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff removed. But before I do that, I need to go shower and hit the gym with my dog so we can get this pump on this beautiful Thursday. 
Then once I get home, we'll get back to doing what we got to do. Swole time! Oh, hours have passed. It's like, what time is it? It's 1014 at night. I don't know how good the uh, visuals is because, well, it should be good because I'm filming on a full frame camera right now. And my f stops at f2.8. So the lighting uh, for low light should be Gucci, but. Oh yeah, look at that. I mean, it is what it is, but uh, we have some packages. We're gonna go ahead and get these unboxed and I can show you guys what I got, even though I told y'all like 90,000 times. You know, YouTuber things. Brand new TLS Master with seal. Nice. And this goes right on our brake booster, so. Cool. I wish I would have had a check valve in there, but whatever. Here we have my brand used brake booster and master setup, which I will not be using because I don't need it, bread I remove all the old stuff and put the new stuff on. But I'll probably do that tomorrow. I'm tired and I have this big ass bump on my face. I gotta go do some exfoliations and I'm tired. So I'll see y'all when it's light outside. Transition! All right, what? Hello! We back in action, Playboy. We is back in action. I don't know if you guys can see out there, but the Integra is uh, giving me issues, man. It's flooding itself. My tunes aren't working. I don't know what the hell is going on. But anywho, let's get this situated. So what we gotta do is go actually go inside the car and remove the four uh, 12 millimeter nuts that braces on the uh, Home Development's brake booster delete onto the chassis itself. There's a lot of brake fluid in there. So I gotta figure out the best way to remove that brake fluid without uh, ruining paint or things of that nature. Huh. Well, alrighty then. All right, gotta go on the iPhone so you guys can see what I'm doing. But we're gonna remove this cover right here. I should just drop down. Clip. Let's get that clip move. Cool. Now that we got that all out, brake booster clips are right there. One, two, three. Damn, it's bright in here. So I can bring that down. There we go. One, two, three, four. Then you got the clevis pin for the brake uh, pedal itself. Once you remove that, uh, well, once you remove those four clips, the uh, well, in that clevis pin right there. Once you remove all that, then the brake booster delete is ready to come off of the vehicle. So let's go ahead and get that removed, playboy. Man, I can't throw on the new brake booster because I don't have a gasket. I would assume, never assume people, that it would have came with a gasket, but it is used. It's not like a brand new part, so why would it come with a gasket? That's why you don't assume people. That's why you don't assume. A lot of people say you can't run the TLS Master because it doesn't fit. So I guess we're gonna try it out and see if it fits or if it doesn't fit. But if it don't fit, it's easy to remove. It's just that screw right there. And then this whole thing just pops up. Then you can slap on your OE 8th gen, but we're gonna see. I'm pretty sure I ran my uh, TLS Master when I was um, have running a booster. So I guess we'll see. <laughs> So yeah, I was right. You can fit the, once it's tightened down, you can fit the uh, TLS Master in there. I don't know why people saying you couldn't. With the black plate on, you still have room to remove it. I don't know what people are talking about, but you definitely can run the TLS Master for she's. Just ordered everything I need to bolt in the brake booster. And I guess the Master doesn't come with the, um, it just comes with the seal. It doesn't come with the actual gasket, which is cool. But I did have to order a brake master to the firewall gasket, which, duh. But yeah, that's it, brother. That is it. The bonnet is off because this weekend, uh, Sunday, I should be trading it for a white 
FD1 bonnet, which would be pretty cool. I think I mentioned that in this video. I did receive a package from Zaft Japan, but I'm actually going to wait to unbox and show that for a video because I have my side skirts on the way and my PCI wing on the way. So I do like a full, um, I guess, breakdown of all the parts I got and why I got it. And so, you know, just make content since I'm a content creator. But I feel like for this video, you guys know what I'm doing, what I got done and what's going on. I think that can pretty much wrap it up for this video. So I guess I will end that here. I will not be going to Field Fest this weekend. Both my cars are clapped, no paint. The Integra doesn't, ugh. my Integra is broken for the time being, thought about it, took a crap. So it's just flooding the car and it, it's, bruh, look at this. <laughs> Terrible, bro. Can't drive the Integra. Luckily, Randy done lent me his big body uh, Burango for the weekend. So, shout out Rand Leezy. Pretty Girls Drive Honda sweatshirt is now available. So, if you have a girl, buy her it. And if you don't have a girl, buy yourself it. Because you're a pretty girl, my friend. You are a pretty girl who drives Honda. So, hopefully with the support of that launch, I'll be able to uh, buy wheels for this damn car. Because this thing has no wheels. And I'm spending money on life things and not car things. And the car thing money is not going to life things. So if you want to help out the channel, uh, pick up some merch. And I might also make a separate video about this, but I also launched my consulting services. Um, so if you go to ZashimFG.com and click on the tab media services, it goes to show like what I could offer you to grow your stuff. Uh, I feel like I could offer a lot of people guidance and clarity on a lot of situations. So. Why not turn it into a business? I'm literally a walking LLC. So, you know, time is money and money is time, right? But that'll pretty much do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, whatever this was. Uh, probably like a chill laid back edited video. I probably did, I don't know. But I will be sure to catch you guys in the next one. Oh, I'm also going to Import Alliance. More details on that as well. Just follow me on Instagram, bro. Follow me on the gram with all things Zosh and ZoshMFG. Thank you for watching. I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Peace.